Hey there, long time no see. Um, I definitely haven't put up a video in a while and as most of you know from my last video I was in Mexico. I was actually there for my best friend's wedding. Her and her fiance at the time, now husband, got married. It was absolutely beautiful. The hotel we stayed at was just gorgeous. Um, I've had a lot of requests for what I brought with me as for like makeup and beauty related kind of thing. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. Um, I'm going to start off with skin care just because that is definitely really important when you're somewhere really hot and you're in the sun a lot. Um, when it comes to daytime, I really wasn't, I didn't wear a lot of makeup. Um, obviously sunscreens were number one for me. I was using this Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen lotion and it was a 70 SPF. And then I normally like to use different things for my face so I found this Neutrogena. It's called Ultra Sheer Water Light Daily Face Sunscreen. That's what it looks like. And I got it in SPF 60. This stuff was amazing. I love it. I was applying sunscreen about every hour just to, you know, make sure I wasn't burning or anything. Uh, the thing that I love about this, I was, I also worked this, like while I was there um, because my friend was getting married. I was in the bridal party as well. I did the bridesmaids and then my friends, like my, the bride's makeup as well. And the thing that I loved about this is it's photo stable. You won't be able to read that, but it's photo stable. So normally you don't want to wear SPF anything when you are being photographed, but this stuff was photo stable and we actually hit, like my friend had a photographer there for the wedding. So I actually had wore this and got him to photograph me because I wanted to see if you got that like halo effect. And this stuff is amazing. It's totally like, I believe it. It's photo stable. It works really well. So if you need to be wearing a SPF um, on your face, if you're somewhere, especially for like a destination wedding, that stuff is phenomenal. Um, I also went ahead and brought obviously like aloe vera stuff so you can just bring like this is a regular aloe vera gel this is from Avon just plain aloe vera but I also got this it's Hawaiian Tropic again and it's called ICE and it has uh, latocaine in it latocaine in it which is actually a pain reliever so if you burn really really bad um, it's really good because it's not only the aloe vera but it kind of helps like numb the pain, cool the pain, and it's really, really great. As you can see, I used almost half a bottle. Not myself, but um, my boyfriend blistered, peeled, burnt, like anything possibly that can happen, it happened to him. So he was using this a lot, and then there was a lot of other people got burnt and knew I had this, so they were using it as well. It was kind of being passed around every night. I'd bring it in my little uh, clutch purse because I knew so many people would be like, do you have that aloe vera? So that was really, really amazing to have. And um, I didn't burn while I was there, but you know, you kind of get like warm and I ha had used that on myself and it was really nice. So I definitely love that. I also brought like eye creams. Um, I only really use this at night and I brought my MAC Prep and Prime and I didn't really use it other than on the wedding day just because I wanted like I didn't use any liquid foundation on anyone. I thought that was a just bad idea so I used a bit of Prep and Prime. That one has no SPF in it so um, I just thought it would keep their skin from getting really oily and kind of staying matte. I'll show you guys what I did for makeup later. Um, and then I also recommend bringing a cream that isn't an SPF but you can put on later for nighttime because I mean all day we were in the sun, we are in bathing suits and I would be SPF'd fully to the max. And then for nighttime we'd go get ready and you know kind of dress cute for going for dinner, going to the disco, any of that kind of stuff. So I always wanted to keep myself moisturized because I didn't want to peel or anything. So I actually found this. Um, you have to get it at a tanning salon though. Um, it's called Australian Gold Forever After All Day Moisture Triple Action Anti-Aging and S Slimming Formula. I don't, I'm not going to be like, oh, I got skinny while I was there, but I mean, whatever. Slimming Formula is great too. And um, it actually just is really good moisturizer. It's, it's like not super thick, but thick enough that you just feel really, really moisturized. Um, while you're in hum like humid and hot places like that, though, you're always going to feel kind of moisturized because of the humidity on your skin. But this stuff is amazing. It's actually a tan extender as well, which I thought was kind of cool. And it has the anti-aging properties in it, which, you know, kind of a bonus. And then the only other things that I brought were, and I put, like, these were in Ziplocs. And I brought two of these Sigma bags with me for makeup and this. And I'll show you what's in that in a second. 
Um, everything liquid though I had in plastic bags. All these creams that I just showed you were in uh, large Ziploc bags because in case it leaks you want to be safe. So I brought my Fix Plus and then my MAC brush cleanser. So those are just kind of random face care, skin care type of things that I brought. And those things um, like the face stuff, not the SPF, um, but just the creams and that kind of stuff were in one bag. And then in my next bag I had, oh that's, this was actually in this bag too. You definitely, I brought eye drops. So some Visine just to have, just in case. Uh, the water there, the sea, is extremely salty, so sometimes my eyes would be irritated, so I brought that just in case. You definitely, while you're anywhere that you're going to be in a lot of water, want to bring the nail polish that you're wearing on your toes or fingers just in case you need touch-ups. So I had my base coat and then my gorgeous um, Mermaid to Order Sephora OPI color. This matched our bridesmaid dresses, so... It was perfect, and I did touch my toes up before the wedding. I have my nails done, so I didn't have to do that. But so you definitely want to bring um, the nail polish you're using if you are kind of like anal about that or anything. And then, of course, I brought um, eye curler and tweezers, just things you need to have. Then when it comes to makeup, um, due to the fact that I was working, like I, I had... Um, the bridal party that I had to do, I probably brought more than an average person would. So first I'm going to show you what I would bring if I wasn't working and then I'll show you just kind of the rest of the stuff I brought. I really didn't go crazy just for the fact that it was hot so I didn't want the girls in liquid foundations, I didn't want them with a lot of creams. I brought no lipsticks, I only brought lip glosses, I brought no cream color bases or anything like that because I didn't want anything to possibly melt. So as for makeup, I brought my, let's see, so first I'll show you some of the stuff that I had in my plastic bag. So for under eyes, and honestly, during the day I wore nothing but my SPF and waterproof mascara. Um, and then at nighttime, because you're like out in the sun all day and then you come back to your room and you have to get ready, you don't want to like leave the pool three hours ahead to go get ready. You just want to like run to your room, shower, kind of get pretty and I would spend like maybe half an hour to an hour getting ready. So I mean, I was not doing full makeup at all. I was just kind of like I would rather spend time with friends and outside than like doing makeup. That's just how I felt while I was there. But I did bring my select cover up. I brought my photo op under eye brightener, which was awesome to have. Of course, my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I depotted mine, so that's what it's in right now. Um, I did bring a cream liner. This is just the hip one. I figured if it melted, it was cheap. Like, I didn't bring my uh, expensive ones. I also brought a liquid liner. And not going to lie to you guys, I used neither of those liners. Even for the bride and bridal party, I used... Um, eyeshadow for eyeliner because I did not want it melting like I just thought it was better to have a little bit less of a defined lash line and have it stay on all night than it start melting on them because it just won't look pretty and then of course I brought my mineralized skin finish if I did wear any sort of cover up this is what I used my bronzer NARS Laguna my benefit powder flage must have and I also brought this, which actually ended up being amazing to have my MAC Prep and Prime um, Transparent Finishing Powder. On the bridesmaids, this is all I used on them. And it totally kind of filled their pores, totally matted them out, um, just gave them a really flawless look without having anything on their face. Um, I did do a bit of concealing under their eyes with like powder flash and stuff like that. But I kept it really clean, it really just kind of flawless and natural, just because, again, I didn't want liquid foundation melting on them, because that's just not attractive. Then as for eyeshadows and stuff, due to the fact that I was working, I brought all my palettes. So I had all my palettes with me. Um, to our blush and the rest are eyeshadow. In my opinion, if I was to go again and not be working, I would bring my two blush palettes, my um, brown, black, and neutral palette, like the highlight palette. So I would bring five in total. I really didn't use a lot of color, just 
again because I didn't want to waste time sitting in my room doing my makeup. I kept my makeup very, very just kind of clean and natural and not a lot. Um, of course, I brought mascaras as well. I brought a regular one for nighttime. I would just use this, and then during the day, I would use the uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast waterproof one, which is amazing. I always hated waterproof, and then I thought, you know what, I might as well just get one, and I'm going to try the Lash Blast because I love it so much. This stuff is amazing. Like, I used to find um, waterproof ones would clump after they got wet. This one did not, although I will tell you I went scuba diving. It is not sea proof. Like, <laughs> The salt water totally ate it off, so thank God I had my goggles on, but afterwards I was totally, like, crying black. Note to self, don't do that again. Um, then when it comes to brushes, again, because I was working, I brought um, two other palettes, or two other, like, I brought all my MAC stuff. I brought two, like, both kits, Sigma kits. So, I mean, I had more than I needed for myself, but I needed them because I was doing, like, six girls at one day. Um, if you have little travel kits, this would be perfect too. Um, just, you know, an average person that doesn't need to do makeup on clients and stuff while you're there, travel kit is perfect. Um, oh, I'm going to share this with you guys because it was honestly amazing. This is Secret Clinical Strength Waterproof All Day Fresh Scent Power Solid Antiperspirant. This stuff saved my life. It was amazing. It actually comes in a box, so if you're looking for it, look in the secret section, and it comes in a, like, little cardboard box. It smells really good, and it worked amazing. Like, when I would go and be in the sun and the pool and the ocean all day long and then come back to my room to shower for nighttime, I could still feel, like, the residue on it, so I really had to, like, soap up my underarms and really, you know, get it off to reapply it. But this stuff is amazing. Because it's waterproof, it's almost sweatproof which I really loved, and it was totally worth the, like, 10 bucks that it was. So, yeah, those are the things that I brought with me uh, on my Mexico trip. And, again, I did work while I was there, so I do have a lot more stuff than an average person would. Um, I guess I can show you guys. This is what I brought on the plane. When you go on a plane, everything has to be under 100 milliliters and in a plastic bag. So I brought just a little hand cream. I brought a... This is hand lotion, but it also has antibacterial in it. Both of these are from Bath and Body Works. Then I brought a couple of these. These are um, Crest. Oh, no, this is a... Um, it's, I, I don't know why that's in there, but I brought... There, you put them on your finger, and you can, like, brush your teeth if you feel kind of funky or anything. Uh, that's a, like, Crest white strip. I don't even know why it's in there. I brought my Tide um, to-go pen, just in case. I brought a little bottle of perfume. And then I had a lip gloss. And then, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. This right here is lip products I bought, brought with me. I know way too many probably. There are um, mostly, actually, they're all lip glosses. I love lip gloss, so I mean, I just brought a shitload with me. And the other thing you will want to bring is a um, lip balm that has SPF in it. This one's SPF 45, and it's just a random brown that I found, so... Yeah, I know this is probably blabbering and kind of a little bit of everywhere, but that's just what I brought with me, um, things that I know I needed, things that while I was there, oh, things I didn't think I needed and while I was there had to pay for, which was 20 bucks, and I was totally m miffed about it, um, bug spray, bug cream, anything with some sort of, like, bug repellent in it. For, like, I don't know if it's everywhere, you know, kind of in that area, but in Mexico, the mosquitoes were ridiculous. I did not think at all to bring any sort of bug spray. Like, I mean, I bring bug spray when I go camping, but I did not think the mosquitoes would be like they were. I got eaten alive until I bought, I, t I bought actually a cream one. Um, but yeah, bring bug, bug spray. So yeah, that's everything. I'm going to stop this now, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you a little bit of info and will help you if you guys are ever traveling and just kind of want to know what to bring. This is what I brought, so I hope that helps, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.